Hi, I'm Dilda Chowdhury, I'm product manager from Nexperia and welcome to quick learning video. Today we'll be discussing about the moving from silicon to gallium nitride on the power conversion uh, areas at around 600 um, and onwards. Just to give you some background, silicon technology is more or less reaching its limit. We are seeing some of the uh, incremental improvement that is happening in silicon technologies. They are trying to improve on some parameters, but compromising on some other parameters means uh, making the some other parameters worse. And in this way, they become a very, very application specific. But even with those incremental improvement, we see that there is a um, frequency limit more or less coming on the silicon technology and that is limiting the maximum power density we can get out of silicon in the near future. On the other hand, gallium nitride on fat, uh, if, uh, gallium nitride fats on GAN on silicon technology bringing a significant performance advantage over the silicon. Even the early gallium nitride fats which is not matured enough yet but even the early fats are already outperforming silicon based uh, topologies and silicon based performance in big way. So today we will be discussing about the half priest configuration because half priest is almost integral part of any topologies that we can see going forward. One is like a PFC uh, totem pole configuration, uh, configuration or DC to DC configuration or you are talking about multi-phase uh, in inverter. All of them has got the half bridge as integral part. On this simple half bridge conf configuration, you can say Q1 and Q2 two switches. What we are doing, we are using silicon based uh, fats here and then we are replacing with the gallium nitride based fats and they are comparing their efficiency and the power loss performance. And uh, this particular configuration has got 240 volt input, 400 volt output and running at 100 kilohertz. And then we a tabulated form we have put here uh, the specification is the silicon based fats and the gallium nitride based fat and the, what are the um, RDS on on these uh, two products and the maximum efficiency they are reaching and the peak efficiency and the power loss at 2 kilowatt and also the junction temperature that they are reaching in a particular uh, power area. Just looking into uh, the performance of this half bridge, you can see that the uh, blue line is the gallium nitride based um, performance curve which is the efficiency curve for the um, gallium nitride based um, configuration and also the, uh, the green line is the uh, efficiency curve for um, silicon based and these are the power loss curves um, with a power loss uh, axis on the right hand side and the efficiency on the left hand side and the x axis is 0 to 3.5 kilowatt and when we did the efficiency uh, sweep on this one and we can see that the peak efficiency uh, for this gallium nitride is about 99.1 and uh, silicon based is about 96.9 percent but at around 2 kilowatt we see the power loss with the silicon is about 65 kilowatt uh, 65 watt and the gallium nitride is only 18 watt and the, when you looked into the thermal behavior of this uh, um, uh, performance testing and we see that at 2.4 watt a kilowatt uh, this silicon based technology already reached 150 degree temperature. So we had to stop it at that point. But on the other hand, the gallium nitride based uh, solution, uh, even at 3.4 kilowatt, we only managed to reach the 100 degree centigrade. So that gives a significant lower power loss on the gallium nitride based solution. The major contributors for this high performance is um, the gallium nitride based solution has got a very low switching losses because it is a very fast switching and it has got E on and E off the which is this turn on and turn off losses every cycle is the minimal and the ultra low QRR or virtually no QRR makes a gallium nitride is a very attractive for lowering the losses 
in the power conversion. Even with the lower RDSN, which is about 37 milliohm against 52 milliohm, we can see that the silicon still couldn't compensate for this efficiency losses. So this suggests that the gallium nitride is the eventual successor of the uh, silicon-based technology. Uh, thank you for listening. And uh, if you want more information, you can go to nextperiod.com. Thank you.